It's the 40th anniversary of the Belize Zoo. The Belize Zoo that we know and love was started by Sharon Matola, who was caring for a handful of wild animals that had been part of a natural history documentary. When filming was completed in 1983, she was left with these animals and decided to start a zoo that would become known as the best little zoo in the world. The old zoo grew, as did Sharon's vision. After several years of fundraising and planning, the Belize Zoo was moved in 1991 to its current site. Sharon and her team would spend the next four decades transforming the Backyard Zoo into a world-renowned wildlife education center where thousands of visitors, both residents and tourists, connected with Belize's unique natural heritage, the animals. All the animals were native to Belize, either injured, abandoned, orphaned, or rescued, and could not be released back into the wild. They were nurtured back to health, became people-friendly ambassadors who inspired visitors to want to save their species. The Belize Zoo now had a visitor center, gift shop, commissary, parking lot, playground, and winding pathways leading to spacious and enclosed natural habitats for the growing number of wild residents. As the Belize Zoo evolved, new animal habitats were created, pathways were transformed, and buildings were modernized. Tens of thousands of students from all over Belize have enjoyed field trips to the Belize Zoo. For many, it was their first encounter with these fascinating animals of their country. The Education Department staff provided fun hands-on activities for students while learning about the animals. Annual science fairs were held for over a decade with primary schools from across Belize. The Belize Zoo also hosted science fairs in the Stan Creek and Toledo districts. The students showcased innovation in the natural sciences and environmental protection. On-site zoo education flourished, but not everyone was able to visit the zoo. Outreach educational programs provided a solution. In the early days, Creative modes of transport to reach remote communities in Belize included donkeys, motorcycles, and bicycles. Dynamic programs presented by Belize Zoo education staff focused on the manatee and scarlet macaw in the south, marine conservation in northern fishing communities, and the yellow-headed parrot in nearby La Democracia village. Colorful and entertaining mascots captured attention to deliver important messages about conservation. The Human Jaguar Conflict Program that began in 2003 provided a short-term solution for jaguars in conflict with villagers and farmers. The program has since proven to be a valuable tool for jaguar conservation and research. Visits to schools and public awareness helped to promote the program across Belize. Simultaneously, with the new Belize Zoo in 1991, the Tropical Education Center, or TEC, was developed across the road as a sister site to promote studying and appreciating the natural world. It was equipped with dormitories, a dining hall, library, lecture hall, and nature trails set across 84 acres of savanna. The TEC provided the first naturalist training sessions for our local tour guides, and professional seminars for primary school teachers. For over 25 years, it has hosted hundreds of Belizean teens in the longest-running conservation summer camp, providing outdoor education and fostering the next generation of conservation leaders. The Green Iguana Project that hatched and released hundreds of green iguanas started at the TEC in response to the declining population of the species in Belize due to overhunting. Rescued animals like the legendary April the Tapir became household names, capturing the hearts and minds of visitors to the zoo. April the Tapir, the zoo's first and most famous animal ambassador, touched lives for 30 years through annual celebrations of her birthday. April paved the way for future ambassadors, all with a unique and important role in representing their species. Junior Buddy, the jaguar, 
was unexpectedly born at the zoo after his pregnant sheep hunting mother was rescued. Junior Buddy loved interacting with his caregivers and the public, even into his adult years. His personality and charisma made him a once-in-a-lifetime Jaguar ambassador. Feathered ambassadors soon joined furry ones with the addition of Panama, the harpy eagle, who became the face of the zoo's harpy eagle education program, complementing parallel efforts to reintroduce harpy eagles into the northern forests of Belize. Furry and feathered friends are often easier to love than others, but what about a species with scales? Not as popular, until the arrival of Rose, the American crocodile that is. Handed over to the zoo by the Belize Forest Department after unexpectedly hatching from an egg, Rose was one of the first American crocodiles to be hand-reared and remain people-friendly well into the first decade of her life. Often in conflict with humans due to fear and misconceptions, Rose represented a breakthrough in empathy and understanding for crocs in Belize. With the Belize Zoo's mission to protect Belize's wildlife and their habitats, nowhere is habitat more critical than in the land surrounding the zoo in the heart of the Maya Forest Corridor. This diverse landscape, the last connection between Belize's most significant forest blocks, allows the free movement of threatened species and is the best chance to reduce human conflict. The Belize Zoo led the charge to acquire lands for conservation within the Maya Forest Corridor in the last decade, resulting in establishing the Sharon Matola Wildlife Sanctuary. The zoo has supported its partners in other land acquisition campaigns and led innovative programs focused on both animals and humans. Monitoring and protecting the endangered yellow-headed parrot within the Sharon Matola Wildlife Sanctuary resulted in more parrot chicks joining wild populations, especially with the addition of artificial nest boxes. Dangerous wildfires are historic and yearly challenges in the lowland savannas of central Belize. The Belize Zoo and the TEC works closely with partner NGOs and villages to improve fire management capacity in order to protect public health, livelihoods, and ecosystem services. From humble beginnings to being the best little zoo in the world, accomplishments in four decades of the Belize Zoo are nothing short of extraordinary. Yet, much more must be done. The future of the Belize Zoo and Tropical Education Center continue to build bridges to connect people and wildlife in hope that nature's biodiversity and wild places are protected for generations to come.